Thank you. Thank you, members of the Fourth Estate. We <clears throat> we have just given a motion of uh, a notice of motion to the clerk that uh, that reads as follows: that aware that the Presidential Retirement Benefit Act 2003. And the Retirement Benefits Deputy President and Designated Officers Act 2015 provides for the granting of pension and other recruitment retirement benefits to holders of the Office of President and the Offices of Deputy President, Prime Minister, Vice President, Speaker, Chief Justice, or Deputy Chief Justice, respectively, when they cease to hold office after the 1st January 1993. Further aware that since inception, the law has been fully implemented through processing of benefits due to the designated former state officials, noting that the law specifies the circumstances under which benefits may not be paid, including ceasing to hold office on account of having acted in willful violation of the Constitution, being found guilty of gross misconduct, or holding office in or actively engaging in the activities, in the activities of any political party, concerned that the immediate former president, the retired prime minister, and the 10th vice president have continued to engage in activities of political parties after retirement, contrary to sections 4 and 6 of the Presidential Retirement Benefit Act 2003 and section 4, the retirement of the retirement benefits to the Deputy President and Designated Officers Act of 2015. Now, therefore, we are pleading and asking the House to resolve that the government through the National Treasury, terminates further payment of retirement benefits to the immediate former president, the retired prime minister, and the 10th vice president, and recovers any amounts paid to the aforementioned state officials. We want to say that, uh, and, and that shall be extrapolated here by my colleague, uh, Wakili Moreu, that we note with concern that the people who are leading this country into chaos are doing so using state resources. That the former prime minister is using a motor vehicle provided to him by the government and by taxpayers, even the fool that he's using, the security that he's using, the drivers that are driving him, the secretary in his office, the cook, the gardener, all those things are provided for by the government. And the government cannot continue enabling violation of the law because it is very clear as I have read here, that the Retirement Benefit Act of 2015 that governs the retirement benefits of uh, the former deputy presidents and prime ministers and chief justices is very clear. And we cannot continue allowing impunity of this level. So we are asking the Treasury to make sure that all the monies owed to the taxpayer, the monies are recovered so that then they can continue to enjoy their democratic space as active politicians and not as retirees. So I will ask uh, Honorable Murey of Gatanga to come and extrapolate how the, the, what the amounts are and what has occasioned that and uh, how we want to move forward. Thank you. And just in a nutshell, uh, before I give you the breakdown for the Kenyans to know the extent under which we are supporting retirees to cause havoc in this country. I would like to say the following. The immediate former president, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, and the Retirement Act is supposed to retire from each and every political position, retire and resign from each and every party six months after the elections. You know that very well that he is the chairman of Azimio. He is still purporting to be the chairman and the party leader of Jubilee Party. And therefore, since all these madamanos are being pushed by Azimio wing, they are not being done without the blessing of the immediate president, Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta. And we therefore, this motion we have got before the parliament 
is to ensure that the public resources are not supposed to be utilized by retirees to cause havoc on the same same citizens who are contributing to, the, to those taxes. And maybe I give you an, an, a snapshot of what the immediate former prime minister has been receiving since July 2015 is as follows. He is entitled as per the act to three drivers at a sum of 210,000 per month. He is entitled to one personal assistant at 200,000 per month, one accountant at 100,000 per month, two secretaries at 140,000 per month, two housekeepers at 80,000 per month, and two senior staff at 100,000 per month. And the list continues, two gardeners at 40,000 per month, taxpayers' money, two cooks at 140,000 per month, two cleaners at 50,000 per month, armed security guards who shall be provided for at the request uh, of, of, the, of, of the person entitled, um, and those, 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 those securities are paid by the taxpayers at 200,000 per month, and that is just a salary, no allowance, no night out, uh, no other stipends. Diplomatic passport, uh, and also his office is, equi is equipped with, with 500,000 uh, per month, uh, maintenance expense for the, for the vehicles, which vehicles are supposed to be replaced each and every four years uh, when, when it's still under retirement at a, at a service of 200,000. In total, their total amount of money which the former prime minister has received from the taxpayers who is vanquishing, destroying their businesses today is, is, is over 388 million. As Honorable Kaupe has said, we are seeking the parliament, number one, to recover that money for the prime minister, and number two, to cease further payment. So at least he can take sides because he cannot trod on the taxpayers, making them want to go to work, open their business. Today they have banned the buses belonging to, 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 to hustlers. They have, they have banned the trucks belonging to hustlers who contribute to the, the taxpayers. And therefore, he cannot have the cake and eat at the same time. Let's look at what uh, the 10th vice president is entitled to, what he has been receiving since tw July 2015. That is Kalonzo Musioka. Kalonzo Musioka is entitled to two drivers at 140,000, one personal assistant at 200,000, one accountant at 100,000, one secretary at 70,000, two housekeepers at 8,000, two cooks Two, two, two senior support staff at 100,000, uh, two cooks, 140,000, two gardeners, 80,000, two cleaners, 60,000, armed security paid by the state at a cost of 100,000 per, per, per security uh, a passport and over and, and 1 million shillings to run his office. Total amount of money which Stephen Kalonzo Musioka has received from the public since this act came into place. July 2015, he has received 379 million 790, 375 990 million taxpayers' money. Our position as members of parliament is very simple. We cannot support demonstration which is destroying the livelihood of people, which is making our children not go to school which is making the, the, the business to shut down, which is bringing the economy down to its knees, at the same time, pay the retirees that amount of money. We are seeking for the recovery of that money personally. We are seeking for this, the, this, the seizing of a, that amount of money and, and a refund from the, those, of two, the, those two officers who have been paid. And more so, the former, vice, the former president, who is now currently supposed to be, start receiving his retirement benefit, since he's still in, in very, very active politics, sponsoring these madamanos, not a single cent is supposed to be paid to him. Otherwise, we are funding madamanos with public funds. It's important to note that it is not only the retired president, the retired uh, vice president, and the retired uh, prime minister who are receiving uh, money from the exchequer. The political parties are also funded by the exchequer by law. And we cannot have the elections having de been determined 
by the Supreme Court in this country. And then the same political parties use extrajudicial means to wage a campaign against a matter that has been determined. Once the court has determined, pursuing that matter outside of those uh, legal systems is an illegality in itself. The political parties, therefore, that are participating in this mandamano, under the guise of the conclu uh, concluded 2022 presidential elections, should not receive funding because they are disputing the results. How then can they claim that they are legitimately getting money for their political parties based on the same uh, voter numbers that they are disputing? This country cannot continue to be held at ransom by leaders for self-gratification. It is a shame that today even members of parliament have had to struggle through police cordons to come and conduct legitimate business. They say uh, holding the entire country uh, um, uh, at ransom has to come to an end. And the first step is to stop paying any of those people participating in Mandamano any of the monies that they are getting from the exchequer. And this may have to extend to members of parliament who are also participating in Mandamano. They have to choose whether they want to earn as parliamentarians or they earn on the streets. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, yeah. and uh, just, just uh, as you will be aware. Yeah, I'll, I'll share the motion with you. The motion to include the deny of political parties from funding. Yeah. This, this, this one is ousted by the Jubilee Party as a party leader, and the position has been taken over by Honorable Sabina Shege. And we are now demanding that he also resigns from the Azimio, uh, as the Azimio chair so that now he may continue enjoying the benefits of retirement. Failure to which, by the time we get to parliament, by the time this uh, motion is tabled, we will demand all the monies amounting to 78 million that he has already so far received and continues to receive. So this is an act, and we must be bold enough to say that we follow the law. The law is very well established. Article 4D of the retired benefits, uh, uh, of, uh, of the retired president benefits, retirement benefits, is very clear. Do not be active in any political party. Do not hold a position in any political party. Do not seek election, uh, any political uh, election. And generally, do not be active in, in politics. That is the condition under which that money is enjoyed. So if you continue enjoying that, uh, that benefit, then you must resign. And if you don't resign, then you must get the money from me. Thank you very much, members. That's an motion for because political parties. The breakdown. The act is available.